I can show that to our yeah. viewers right now. I'll show you the swing seats. Now, the seats that we are calling swing seats are those seats which have swung between both parties in every election in the last three elections. Now, there are different ways of classifying these, but in the seats that uh, India today has classified as swing, swing, as I say, in the last three elections, they've changed hands. So if they were a BJP, uh, seat in one election became a Congress seat in the other, back to BJP or in any sequence. So they are swing seats. The Congress had won 95 swing seats last time, 45 BJP, uh, which essentially means that if the tendency of these seats being swing seats continues, many of these 95 seats might switch over to the BJP, which is the point that Amitabh Tiwari is trying to make, that if the, if the trend of swing seats continues, that again seems to suggest advantage BJP. Yeah, yeah. and one of the, another fascinating data is that in the past four elections, only 38% of sitting MLAs who have contested have won the election. Congress party strike rate of sitting MLAs is just 25%, whereas BJP's is 50%. Here, the ticket denials will come into focus. Congress has denied tickets to very few, I think less than 20% of its MLAs, whereas in Chhattisgarh, the number was higher at 30%. Okay, Yashwan Deshmukh, looking at this data, it's very clear that there are structural deficiencies in the manner in which the Congress uh, vote share is organized. They tend to scrape through when they win and lose big if things aren't going their way. Given the infighting, given the anti-incumbency, do you think the Roti Paratna trend is likely to continue? Or because of all the social welfare of uh, Ashok Gehloth, could this time be different? Well, Rahul, in our tracker for almost like last five years, ever since the government was formed, and our tracker before that was very clearly showing a Congress government is going to be in place. So by in the first couple of months, uh, the numbers have not been encouraging for almost four and a half years for the Congress, honestly speaking. And uh, uh, it's not just about the Roti Palatna, it's also, uh, and also not just about uh, 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 the structural problem which Amitabh just mentioned. It has a lot to do with how the Congress has managed its overall show, uh, you know, in Rajasthan. So they got a mandate. Unfortunately, barring the last few months when the, both the warring factions actually got united, till that point of time, nine out of the ten headlines that came out of Rajasthan were politically negative headlines. So that remains essentially a big problem for them. In your brilliant graphics, uh, uh, you know, Rahul, there are very, very interesting things to observe. If you look into the starting point of safe and, you know, about safe seats, you will realize that BJP starts at 95 and Congress starts at 65. Basically, that's where starting points are. So basically, BJP has to contest about 105 seats out there and Congress has to contest 135 seats in order to cross the mark. So when you look into these things, 95 and 65, it takes you to 160, which leaves about 40 seats, actually, which precisely maps almost like your... You know, the swing seats, if you look into the deficit of the Congress and the BJP, between them, there is roughly about 50 seats gap. So, eventually, Rajasthan is going to decide, actually, among the 40 seats, where the election is going to happen, even from the, without any survey, purely the, uh, the, the historical trend data that you have just analyzed. And you have to figure out to see if Congress can win 35 out of these 40 seats that we are talking about, or if BJP can win okay. 30 out of these 40 seats as the proportion goes. And Amitabh is damn correct on this one that the Rajasthan data very clearly shows whenever the BJP wins, it wins with a landslide kind of thing. And whenever the Congress wins, it wins just about win. Although the matter of the fact is also there that last time's Congress stunted victory, as I may call, was had a lot to do with strategically placed rebel candidates by Mr. Gehloth himself. Everybody knows, you know, even the Congress would not officially like to talk about it. But that is what has resulted in the stunted victory of the Congress. And the similar kind of stunted victory that now the qualitatively speaking, the journalists are talking about, if that would be a problem for the BJP, though it also suggests that Ms. Vasundra Rajay has been quite pacified with the number of tickets that have been given to his to her supporters. 
so that should not be a problem with the okay BJP so now ron gupta all these pundits and the trends taken together would seem to suggest that the congress really faces an uphill task that electoral data history the voting patterns of rajasthan and the fact that your top two leaders in rajasthan have been daggers drawn for the last four and a half years all of it taken together suggest that you could possibly be headed for a big defeat